Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Yaha's Garden, where I will be showing you how to grow sugarcane from seed to harvest. I will also be showing you some of the mistakes I made that you could avoid. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you can be better prepared for when you decide to grow sugarcane. The sugarcane that I am currently touching is a week old, and when it gets to about this height, I transfer it into a bigger container. Being a water bottle, I cut it in half, throw some soil in there, and bada beam, bada boom. This is a two week old sugarcane, and and it's already overgrown the containers. Once it was about two weeks old, I transferred it into a five gallon fabric pot. And these pots are like extremely good. They allow the roots to breathe and they prevent it from like root rot and a bunch of diseases. It's a good pot to get, you know? So the mistake that I made here that was extremely crucial was I forgot to amend and fertilize my plant. And you'll see why it makes a difference at the end of the video. If I could go back in time and slap myself, I would. But keep in mind, it wasn't from the lack of knowledge it was just forgetfulness and what i like to use is a brand called down to earth by the way it's organic so don't panic <laughs> i use 444 all purpose it's basically a combination of everything a plant needs nitrogen phosphorus and potassium i usually just follow the directions one to two tablespoons per gallon of soil i also like to use dolomite for adding magnesium and calcium into my plants and soil i'm gonna have the dates and the weeks just so you guys can see how fast it grows in a short amount of time i measured it with a tape ruler it was about two feet tall if you want to count the leafy part and if it's just a stick it's probably like one foot tall keep in mind this was my first time growing sugar cane and it was more of an experiment because i tried looking up a bunch of youtube videos on how to grow sugar cane when to harvest and maybe I, I just wasn't looking right but i couldn't find anything out there on youtube on google it was kind of like i didn't know when to harvest so that's why i made this video for people that are like me or were like me and want to grow sugar cane but don't know how and i don't claim to be no expert i'm just sharing what i've learned throughout my growing experience to hopefully help some of you out i also noticed that from the two that i grew from seed one of them popped up a little baby sugar cane and i've been letting it grow and do its thing because like why not it's been like a month maybe about five weeks and this is honestly the fastest growing plant i've ever had it just it grows literally like as you're staring at it i can't even imagine if i would have amended it so this sugar cane can grow up to 22 feet tall once it started touching my roof i decided to put it in a 15 gallon container and this would have been another perfect moment to amend it i would have done another round of 444 all purpose and maybe just a shot of dolomite plants don't necessarily need a lot of magnesium and calcium but you just got to make sure there's enough in the soil it's not really something that dire you mostly need more of the 444 which carry nitrogen potassium and phosphorus i will be doing a 2.0 sugarcane harvest video because apparently i thought only some of my sugarcane deserved fertilizer and i did fertilize some just not the one i was keeping track on since the beginning and i didn't just want to switch off to another sugarcane and just say like oh look i wanted to keep the same sugarcane i was growing from seed to harvest so you guys can see the same plant so here's where it got a little bit more tricky so i noticed that it started flowering which i assumed it either meant it was maturing or just starting to produce seeds and it meant both so this flower that grows at the top of the sugar cane is called sacharum officarum chukarum chukarum chukar chukar chukarum i obviously can't pronounce it so i'm just gonna have the name at the bottom if you guys want to give it a shot or not so what i've learned and correct me in the comments down below if i'm wrong but as soon as this flower starts growing out of your sugar cane you might as well go ahead and harvest it out because what this flower is gonna do as soon as it starts like popping out it's just gonna start stealing all the sweetness from your sugar cane so i recommend you harvesting as soon as you see a sign of flowering another good indicator that shows that your sugar cane is ready for harvest is when you start seeing less and less leaves growing towards the top and it almost looks like a spear like something really sharp at the top that is basically just gonna blossom up and turn into a flower this is a good example of a sugar cane that's not ready for harvest yet it's kind of bushy at the top and nowhere near pointy this is actually the one that i'm gonna harvest in my 2.0 video it's a lot thicker and you can visibly see it it's like twice as thick as the one i'm currently harvesting harvesting and that's why it's important to fertilize your plants now it's time for the easy part so cut it from the bottom and leave at least six inches behind just so it can regrow itself i could have probably cut a little more but since it was my first time growing sugar cane i just wanted to play it safe you can continue regrowing sugar cane for five years and after that i believe it loses its flavor so you would want to regrow it from seed again 
remove all the leaves from your sugar cane and you can use this as mulch or even just throw it in your compost if you want to try the sweetest part of your sugar cane go for the bottom it's gonna be where the sugar content is most concentrated it was eight feet long and it would have been nine but i left the whole foot in the soil and i also cut a foot off the top which was mostly flour you're gonna need a sharp knife and be careful when cutting it because you could cut yourself and if you're like me you did cut yourself look at me i'm bleeding i'm a bloody person uh yuck wash your hands put a band-aid now uh still bleeding out uh i'm gonna continue cutting it into 12 inch sections and since i'm gonna be the only one eating this it's like it doesn't really matter i'm, I'm not gonna die from eating my own blood give it a good rinse and then peel off the green part only leaving the white center in the middle you could either chew on this or if you're living in 2030 you could also use a sugar cane machine which will just squeeze out all the juice and pour it into a cup and that would be a lot easier this was not only my first time growing sugar cane but it, it was also my first time trying it so like the faces i made it wasn't because like it was nasty i actually got a bit of sweetness it just i felt like it wasn't thick enough for me to get a burst of juice but it was sweet in the center i started tasting it more once i started nibbling and getting a few more bites on it you're not supposed to eat the whole thing you're just supposed to bite on it and squeeze out all the juice although you could it's probably not gonna have any harmful effects towards you it's just not gonna taste as appealing as the sugar all right everyone so this is gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe because there will be more videos coming soon and as always remember be good people <sighs>